Hello and welcome to Animals of Taiji. I am Zuryan, drawing and storytelling. The monkey is an animal that can all at once be mischievous, curious, clever, agile, a strategist, playful, and very fast. In Taiji, the monkey inspires a posture named Repulse the Monkey. It is said that animal names for applications and postures in Taiji and martial arts are used to help us tap into the mind, will, and energy of particular movements. Repulse the monkey moves backwards. It's a controlled retreat where we're stepping backward, transferring weight to a back-rooted foot or leg, leaving the front leg able to freely move, to yield at the same time of an attack. Walking backwards helps us become agile and quick like a monkey. But what about the mind or the will of a monkey? The mind is like a monkey is a phrase coined by Buddhism. We're reminded to stay single-minded or repulse the monkey mind. Otherwise, we might expose ourselves to indecisiveness or being scattered and unfocused. The footwork for Repulse the Monkey was first made parallel and shoulder width by Chen Manqing and Master Titi Liang. Doing it this way helps us open up our low back, promotes circulation and relieves tension. In coordination with our footwork, we move our arms in big circles, which opens up meridians on both sides. I told you a little bit about the quick mind of the monkey. The monkey is also super agile and fast. One could say the monkey has clever hands. The monkey's weapon in martial arts is the staff. The clever and strategic mind of the monkey can think of lots of ways to use a staff. Because after all, the whole thing is a handle and the whole thing is a weapon. We certainly need strong hands and nimble fingers to use the staff correctly and in speedy fashion. I have a folktale to share about how the monkey discovers its weapon, the staff. It's based on the Chinese classic called Journey to the West, with the Monkey King as the main character. It goes something like this. Monkey King took his duty as protector of his clan very seriously. He taught them well the self-defense skills such as drilling, sparring, and marching. One day, Monkey announced he needed a serviceable weapon. He knew all too well that his luck with his smarts and his fists would not last. An elder monkey told him that the Dragon King had lots of magical weapons in his kingdom. Monkey was determined to visit Dragon, even if it meant traveling to the bottom of the Eastern Sea. Once in the company of the magnificent Dragon King, Monkey used his charm to will the dragon to show his various weapons. All of them, the celestial sword, the cosmic saber, even the infinity knife, were not good enough for the monkey. What's this? Monkey asked wonderingly as he gazed at a thick iron pillar glowing with beams of mystical light. That, said the Dragon King, is the essential pillar that holds the divine isles in place upon the sea surface. Hmm, that would be the perfect weapon for me, except 
It's too long and too thick. Instantly, before their eyes, the pillar became much shorter and thinner. They both gasped in awe. It's magical, exclaimed Monkey. A bit shorter and thinner, please, he commanded the pillar. It shrank and shrank to the size of a needle. Fantastic! How about a tad larger? When it was big enough to fit in his hand, Monkey grabbed hold of it and tested it with a few stabs, parries, and twirls. The perfect weapon, Dragon King! Thank you! Monkey leaped to make his exit. The Divine Isles will go adrift. Thief! Stop him! The guards, 10,000 red sea crabs, swarmed Monkey, snipping at his body and tail. Quickly, the monkey spun the staff around his body faster and faster until the water formed a curtain around him where the crabs could not pierce an entrance. I'll pay you for it later, called Monkey as he blasted straight up to break the surface of the sea, leaping back to the safety of his clan. Monkey twirled his new weapon over his head and announced, Now I'm ready for anything. And that, my friends, is the story of how the monkey found his weapon, the staff. Thank you so much for joining me for Animals of Taiji.